Hey guys, Bob McCarty, McCarty Training. Uh, Bob McCarty hook, line, and shifter video uh, YouTube channel, as well as Alex's Bicycle Pro Shop and Scott Bicycles. So Markham Park finally reopened. We're here inside Route 66 and came across an obstacle that I'm very passionate about how I go about describing the trails. For me, there's clearly two lines in front of us. The trail is actually going to be going this way. I'm going to be running. I'm going to be running right at you. So we have two different lines right here. We have a left line and we have a right line. The right line is clearly going straight. The left line is going off to the left. Anytime you have to turn the handlebars, two things happen. The trail gets longer and the bike slows down. Two things that I don't want to try and do. I want to keep my flow going through the trail as best I can. So what happens? Back over here, the trail is saying, turn left to avoid something here, which we'll get into. Turn right to come back to the trail, to turn left and right and keep on right going down the trail. I want to make this trail straight as I possibly can. So why is the trail suggesting to me that to go to the left? Because of these few routes. So what am I passionate about? You know I'm passionate about my skills. So what am I going to do? I'm going to use my skills, perfect my skills to get the bike to flow right through here. This is a perfect section for this too. The reason it's so perfect is the dirt or the trail is starting to go uphill, uphill, uphill. It's creating the energy for me to help go over these routes with very little impact or no impact in them. So when you're reading the trail and you see two different lines show up, question yourself, why is there a left line here compared to a right line here? The reason there's a left line hill is when you lack skills. I don't know how to go over these routes. I'm going to go around it. So a lot of times when you're reading the trails, you're going to see lines that are the smoothest lines that avoid obstacles. You can't always avoid the obstacles, so you got to perfect that skill set. You'll see the uh, you'll see the clip come up. I'll air out, go over top of this in a nice straight line. No energy involved, but a lot of practice. You don't want to practice avoiding an obstacle. You want to practice dealing with an obstacle. So thanks for watching.